Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorial Friday Facts discussion number 345 unit group collision mask and artillery shell particle and I am joined again by Bombug. Hello hello how are you doing today X? Uh doing doing pretty good it's good it's Friday how about you? Oh yeah super happy it's Friday I was jamming to Rebecca Black pretty much all day long it's a good time. You know I just lost like a thousand subscribers thanks to that so thank you okay well <laughs> y'all are contributing to internet bullying of a child who's just trying to have fun but fine fine <laughs> how about your wife oh man <laughs> okay look in these trying times people are losing track of the day of the week and becky she provides a guide for us she lets us know that yesterday was thursday today is friday Saturday comes afterwards. A lot of people need that kind of guidance in their life right now. I mean, you're not wrong. There have been times where I have forgot completely what day it was. So maybe I should go. I should go listen to the song just to make sure it's Friday. Yeah, Becky's got your back, right? Oh yeah. Um. So yeah, this Friday facts. Um, some good stuff. It's pretty short. Uh, I'm Bombug. You you're gonna take this first section here and then i will cover the uh, last little bit of artillery stuff all right let's get to it so this is friday facts 345 unit group collision mask and artillery shell particle uh, by clonin so last weekend a bug report came in on their forums the issue was that a group of biters was trying to path over the water but the bugs can't swim so it seems like something quite typical of a mod being funky uh, Conan looked into it, and it seemed that the hovercraft mod was playing monkey business with water collision to make the vehicles right over water. So one thing involved uh, setting water tiles to be walkable, and then adding an additional collision layer to all players and biters. What this modder didn't realize is that unit groups have a fixed collision mask. Uh, it used to be hard-coded, but a while ago it was added to the utility constants. So we just say, hey, it's a mod problem. Here's a quarter. Call someone who cares, right? Well, that's not really how Factorio team does stuff, right? So it didn't no. sit right with Clonin <laughs> uh, because deep inside, he knew that the unit groups shouldn't have a fixed collision mask. It doesn't make sense, really. Uh, let's say you add flying units to the game. If you give individual commands to the flyers to go attack the base, they will happily fly over the water and attack without issue. However, if you put them in a group together, a group of flying units, the group will path around the water because the unit group still has a fixed ground collision mask. So this week, he decided to fix it up once and for all. It turns out that it wasn't so hard in the end. As they mentioned somewhat in Friday Facts 340, unit groups already have logic in place to recalculate their properties based on their members. So he looked into that logic and also uh, made them recalculate their collision mask. So the way that made sense to clone in is that they should add the masks together so that they can only path where all the units can path. And in this first gif here, we see a group of only small biters. They can't walk on water, so they just walk around it. And then further down, a group of water biters. They can move right over the water, so they just go straight through it. You know those little like skeeter bugs on your pool? Right? Oh jeez, I hate those. <laughs> uh, yeah, so then uh, the next gif is a mixed group of small biters and water biters. They add their masks together so, so they only go where all units can go. Uh, you can imagine it quite intuitively, I think, the group will try to stick together. That will mean that the group can only path to places that all members can reach. It feels quite nice to make fixes like this as they are relatively small in scope and risk, but clean up a lot of potential problems and open up a lot of interesting possibilities. What do you think about this, X? Um, it's really great they fix this. I am a little, maybe it's just too, like, computationally intensive or whatever, but I'm a little confused as to why they would make it do this opposed to making it where the biters who can cross water do so and then the ones who can't go around it yeah i was kind of thinking about that as well it makes sense like i guess the uh the hive mind is kind of you know part of the insects right usually mm -hmm. and so they usually would be coordinated but i would be fine with them like 
how do I say it, grouping up to a certain point, and then when they go in for the attack, that's when they maybe ignore the grouping, and you know those that can fly or those that can go over water go directly to the to the targets. Mm -hmm. but it makes sense that at least during the initial grouping they would stay together. Uh, yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, yeah, I mean, I do think you're right. Once they get closer, it would be cool if they would kind of do their own movement, like whatever is appropriate for their type. But maybe that's just too, you know, too difficult, too uh, much performance to, to get in there. We need to get that StarCraft bot up in here, the one that can just, like, macro and micromanage just everything, right? Group all the units together quickly, put them in what formation, select different groups, and basically have the biters group up initially, but then as soon as they get to your walls, which are, like, against an edge of water, the the water biters just walk around the wall while the rest of them take on the wall. Be kind of uh, nice. Yes, that would be... Uh, that is what we need. StarCraft... Uh bots like that and just starcraft pathing in general is really good yep um oh, excellent but yeah it, it's good they fix this it's uh, it, you know yet another testament to the devs and their credibility and their their just ethics that um instead of just you know saying hey it's a mod here call someone who cares they actually go to the trouble to fix this so yeah and that's definitely something that most dev teams wouldn't do not uh not even just like attitude wise like a, lo a lot of the devs really love their games but budget wise you often have people pushing you and they're like that's a mod that's not supported let's get on to factorio 2 you know go 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 but not factorio team they don't do that no which is really great uh so speaking of great we have a, a little snippet here awesome thing with the artillery shell particle so another nice finishing touch for you all this week Adding a shell ejected from the artillery cannons was suggested back when we showed the new uh, sound integration in the game, Fred Effects 341. While we can't get too fancy with it, we think the relatively straightforward effect that we've added fills in the detail nicely. So now when it shoots a shell, it'll spit out the casing. And uh, I think that's really cool. I also think it's cool that it um, spits it the spits them in different places rather than just all like in the exact same pile um yeah because it, it would be a little bit random um and uh yeah i think like the only criticism i've seen of this and it's kind of nitpicky but i mean it'd be nice to have is that there's like just adding a really slight delay between when it fires and when it ejects the shell casing um but I'm not going to complain. Personally, I think this is really cool. It's just a really nice uh, addition. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm definitely getting uh, the, this this mod itch here where it's like, oh, I see those spent casings on the ground. We need to have some sort of automation to pick those up and recycle them into the next bit of ammo, you know? Oh, and that means that we probably need to be doing the same with, like, the normal gun turrets. And, oh, oh. Oh, There's got to be some Bob's Angel-like management here of this <laughs> this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I can see that. Um, I think that would actually be kind of a cool feature because you can, uh, not that Factorio is necessarily relatable to real life, but in real life you can actually reuse shell casings uh, if they haven't mm -hmm. gotten completely like warped from being ejected. Um, and you can just make new ammunition with them, so... That'd be really cool, kind of, if you could do that. Yeah. I mean, we're already doing that with, like, uh, nuclear fuel cells, right? You gotta pull out the, the used ones. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Recycle them. And, uh, you know, this is Factorio. We're all about recycling and being green, right? <laughs> right. I don't know what game you're playing. <laughs> uh, so, last little bit here. It's just a particle with a nice sprite sheet that Dom rendered with the original shell mo models with a bit of engine tweaking here and there. We had it ready in quite a short order. Just another small bit of polishing that characterizes this stage of development, which is fantastic. I just love this, uh, all this little small polish that they're doing here. Yeah, it really is nice to see the game coming into its own. Uh, we've been thinking, you know, oh, it's ready for full release forever. But then the more they add these little things, it's like, 
actually, you know, maybe it'll bring in a lot of uh, a lot of new people if they see a polished game, visually appealing. That's a huge thing to draw new people in to like a full game release, right? They're gonna criticize you a little bit if you don't have that that yeah. uh, polish. Definitely agree. So this whole stuff is nice, and it's good that it's not like a huge pain for them to add as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna probably do it. Do you have any thoughts in regards to the Friday facts? Uh, just another, you know, good job to Clonin. I feel like he does so many of these articles. It's not often that you see devs who articulate well and, uh, who, who engage the community. Programmers are a little more closed by nature. And so it's great to see, especially Clone and always reaching out and uh, engaging with the community, with the modders. And, you know, he adds a ton of mods himself. Oh, my gosh. You know? Yeah. It's pretty cool to see. I completely agree. It's just uh, fantastic. Love the transparency. Love how much work he and all it does put in. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. I want to throw out a quick announcement, though. Uh, I am starting a brand new series using the Craftorio 2 mod uh, today, since this uh, video goes out on Saturdays. Um, I will be starting uh, probably very shortly after this video has come out, uh, maybe within an hour or so. I did put up an announcement video with a countdown timer in it uh, if you want to see the exact time, but I'm going to be streaming it. I'm super excited to try out the mod uh, that was actually shown in a Friday fact some time ago. So uh, definitely come stop by if you're interested, and it uh, should be a lot of fun. Do you have some teasers about what's to come? Will there be trees? Will uh, there be enemy yes. mods? There, there, kind of uh, there is some, some teasers I showed off in the video you can check out. Uh, definitely a lot of interaction um, available from people to control stuff in the game. Uh, some potential tree spawning, maybe some power pull explosions you can do. Uh, helping out with research a little bit um i may throw in uh, some transport drones in there so it's uh it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm really looking forward to it that sounds awesome it sounds like a couple things you've already done mod reviews on as well so it's gonna be a good uh, combination of stuff people have liked in the past and cool things going forward uh yes definitely so Definitely check that out if you guys are interested on my Twitch, which is always in the description of my videos, and you can check out the announcement video. And as always, for the Friday Facts, guys, thank you for watching. Leave your thoughts below. Always enjoy reading them and leave them on the forums and Reddit for the devs. And until next time, we will see you later. Catch y'all later.